It never really was a question of if we would mandate the COVID vaccine. It was really just a question of when. At Texas's Houston Methodist Hospital, employees have until June 7th to get the COVID vaccine or lose their jobs. It's among the first healthcare systems in the U.S. so far to require the shots for its employees, and it appears to be working. Houston Methodist's vaccination rate is one of the highest, 85 percent before the requirement was announced, 98 percent now. Across the country, rates range from almost 90 percent at University of California Health to an average of 81 percent at Prime Healthcare's Pennsylvania hospitals and 66 percent at New York's Northwell Health. Other systems would just tell us a majority of their employees receive the vaccine. At South Dakota's Sanford Health, the largest rural health system in the country, the total is approaching 70 percent. Chief physician Dr. Jeremy Cowles says rates reflect attitudes towards vaccines in the broader communities. Our two largest metropolitan areas have indeed taken up the vaccine faster than some of our rural locations. Sanford Health is considering a mandate, but while they're effective, mandates can lead to backlash. Jennifer Bridges is a nurse at Houston Methodist. She says she doesn't want to get the COVID vaccine. I've had every single vaccine there is. I take the flu shot every year because that's mandated also. But this one, this one's just different. She said she's worried about side effects, the new technology behind the vaccines and the speed of their development. Health experts say the vaccines have been thoroughly tested and that rates of vaccination should be higher among healthcare workers. But Brown University's Dr. Ashish Jha says there are other reasons employees may not be vaccinated yet that a mandate alone can't fix. The issues are complicated. For a lot of staff who are, who are hourly workers, when they hear that after getting vaccinated, they may be sick for 24 hours, they may not be able to take 24 hours off. And Sheb, that's especially true for workers in nursing homes, where our reporting found the rates of vaccination for employees are generally even lower than for hospitals. And given nursing homes have been hit so hard by COVID, it's an area with a lot of focus. Sheb? Meg, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.